that because there's so much happening all across the globe. Particularly, we want to focus here in America because that's where most of uh, where we are, everybody who's in this community resides. So we want to know how can we generate wealth during these challenging times as we have seen the economy is ever so changing. Uh, inflation is through the roof. Uh, we have a lot of different woes happening right now, but guess what? These are just challenges. And anytime you have challenges, that just means there's opportunities. So I want to be able to um, inform you, keep you abreast of what's happening in the insurance industry on both the property, the auto, the life insurance side, because there's a lot going on. A lot of knowledge that you need so that way you can make smart choices uh, for your financial future. So yeah, so if everybody can just type in the chat um, where you're from, where you're located, if you have any questions, things you would like for us to talk about in the future on our lives, but just to kind of let you know what's going on, what we're going to be doing in September, as you may or may not know, we celebrate this every year. September is Life Insurance Awareness Month. Okay, so a lot of people in 2022 still don't understand the ins and outs about life insurance, its importance, why they need to have it, how do they qualify to get it, how long is it good for, all these uh, great questions, even just the history of life insurance, how did it even come about? So we're definitely going to be talking about that throughout this entire month. Um, we'll be having our coverage over coffee sessions every Friday. We don't really have a set time because my schedule is really crazy. So I'll just jump on the live, you know, when I have the time. And then also just to let you know, I actually incorporated that coffee. How many coffee lovers do we have out there, right? So today I went to day, uh, nightlight, Donuts, they are amazing. They know me by name, so I don't know if that's good or bad, right? Maybe I spent too much money there, but they have amazing uh, coffee. Also, their donuts, they have donuts of the month. So this is September, so it's like this little cream puff donut that they have this month. I'm still waiting for that key lime pie donut later this year. It's seasonal, but it's so delicious. So looking forward to that. If you're ever in the area, definitely check them out. Great service. Again, they know you by name. It's like a mom and pop chain. So um, we love those. Those coffee shops to me are just better sometimes than the than the mainstream chains. But I don't discriminate on the main chains either. I, I am a Starbucks fan. And I used to be Dunkin' Donuts in our area. Just kind of start lacking, you know, of course, when people didn't want to show up to work and things of that nature. But uh, Dunkin' Donuts definitely have great coffee. All right. So that's why I love coffee. I love insurance. So we're just uh, coordinating the two together. And so I like to tell everybody I'm everything insurance, all right? So if you have any questions at all, I'm the person to speak to. I am a licensed broker in the state of Texas for both life and health and property casualty. Okay, I have worked in corporate America as well as with my own company. And we are in a small insurance boutique firm here in the state of Texas. Also, uh, again, I am an adjuster. So not just regular uh, property or auto adjuster, but also a catastrophic adjuster. Unfortunately, this is our busy season. As you may or may not be aware, there's a lot happening in the Atlantic Ocean right now. Usually towards the end of August is when it starts to get real busy. Of course, hurricane season does uh, kick off in June and it goes until uh, October, right? Um, but it really gets really busy towards the end of August. And then of course, September, anything can happen, all right? So um, usually those days are really, really busy for me dealing with a lot of insurers who have suffered a major loss. We will talk about that. We'll talk about if you're a homeowner, how can you uh, prepare for catastrophe? Unfortunately, we're living in a time where it's happening, where it's happening globally. We just saw our fellow uh, brothers and sisters in Jackson, Mississippi, who's just experiencing, who just experienced flooding, and now they don't even have access to clean water. Here in Dallas, Texas, last week, they just had a severe flood. It was nothing like we've ever seen before, you know? So things are starting to happen that uh, is new to different areas, you know, uh, along the West Coast, I should say the Western part of the United States, they're actually uh, having droughts right now. They have literally cut off several reservoirs over there and dams to 
uh, local farmers and to residents. So we're, these are unique times. And so my goal, I just feel it's my duty to share any tips that I have, any knowledge that I have, any industry knowledge, news keep you up to date. So that way you can make uh, the right decisions for your family. All right. So again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this broadcast. Uh, also, join us on our other social mediums on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. And the handle is just going to be AI Mutual. All right. We want to make sure we're connecting with people on those social mediums that they use. So let's get into it. So what's, what is going to take place uh, later this month here? Let me t turn that down. So we have a lot of great things. I actually have a lot of speaking engagements too. So of course I will post this on our site here uh, and uh, all our social media uh, mediums so that way you're aware and to tune in and there will be live. But every Friday this month, we're going to have our coverage over coffee sessions. Today is just an introduction, just to get to know me a little bit about the industry. Uh, and then also, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer that. And then on the 9th, uh, we're going to talk about life insurance. So we're going to take a deep dive into the history and bring it up until now and how it's relevant to us and our family and our heirs. On the 14th, I actually have a speaking engagement with Birmingham Church. So really excited about that. I speak with them every year during this time about insurance. This year, I am speaking about disaster preparedness because in addition to September being um, Life Insurance Awareness Month, it's also National Preparedness Month. So we wanna talk about that disaster preparedness. I will give you tips on what you need to do from an insurance side to make sure that you're covered, uh, letting you know what you need to do to prep before, during, and after uh, tragedy strikes, okay? Also on the 16th, generational wealth. This is my favorite, 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 favorite uh, co-topic of insurance is generational wealth. People really don't understand that you can create, um, set up your legacies for success financially. It's extremely important more now than ever. I will give you more information as to why, but that's definitely one session you wanna be turned into, okay? Tuned into. The 23rd economy. We can't get enough of talking about the economy. We all live it every day. We go to the grocery stores. We see the inflation just with the uh, food that we're purchasing. Every week it seems to go up. I know the other day I just bought some eggs. I always do the 36 count. And literally like within a month, I've seen it go from uh, around six, 650, went up to like another seven, then to eight. And now it was like just under $10. And that's like within a month. So can you imagine this time next year, how much it's going to be? So I would like to share my knowledge with you about insurance pro uh, products that can help you hedge against inflation. I've always uh, sold these products in the past, but now that people literally can see it, it's one thing to talk about, hey, if inflation strikes, you know, this rider can assist you. But now that we're living it, I mean, this is a no-brainer. We have to be able to speak to the uh, speak to this now because inflation may not be re uh, going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, and then on the thirtieth, our AIM University, and you're probably like, "What is AIM?" Well, AIM is short for AI Mutual, but we also say "Aim High." That's um, our motto here. We always feel like in life you should be aiming for something. A lot of people just go through life, you know, without a target, and so we want to make sure that we prepare our families for a success. But then not just our families. Maybe there's some people in uh, high school who are graduating or even college and trying to figure like, hey, what they want to do. Or maybe there are some individuals who want, uh, who are professionals and they just want to change. They want to change their profession or maybe somebody want uh, additional income. So we're going to have our AIM University to give you all the uh, the scoop, the education that you need to be a successful uh, insurance broker. And we'll talk about being an insurance agent as well, but I have more knowledge on being an insurance broker. And then also uh, being a an adjuster, whether that's on a property side, an auto side, or a catastrophic side, okay? So that's what we have coming up. So again, we have a very busy month and we will be bringing news again, Ames, uh, Ames Newsweek. Anybody remember that? That was so much fun. You know, it was a, a lot of news happening, right, in 2020. So a lot of data to give out during those times. But now we're back to a lot of data again. So we're going to give you the news. Sometimes people just present the news. But I like to not only uh, tell you, yes, about the articles, yes, what's happening in the real world, but how does that actually relate to you from a financial standpoint, from an insurance standpoint? You know, how does this uh, affect your household financially? And then not only how does it affect it, but hey, 
what are some tips on how I can be success successful? We're just not going to leave you hanging, all right? <laughs> We're not going to be Debbie Downer. We're here to give you information that is going to empower you for greatness. All right, so let's talk about a little bit about the news. I know I just spoke about Jackson, Mississippi. Please help me out so that way I can share this information as well. I only saw one flyer thus far that is actually um, – asking people to donate as well as to provide uh, bottled water so that way they can give that to the residents locally. I'm checking to see if there's some churches who needs help. I love to work with people directly, not really through a third party agency because sometimes, no dig, <laughs> but sometimes they keep all the money, right? And then the people, the end users who really do need it, who have really been affected you know, by whatever tragedy hardly gets any of the money. So I prefer to work either directly with the people or, you know, with a local agency who understands uh, the needs in the community and who are actually going to give most of the money uh, to the people. So if you know anyone uh, local in Jackson, Mississippi, uh, who could use our help, who could use our community's help, please let me know. I am happy to share that information, all right? Because we just never know if it's going to be our turn. I know that when I was a catastrophic adjuster in 2017 for Hurricane Harvey, that was crazy times. You know, of course, other people know about Hurricane Katrina. You know, Maria, Irma, everybody has their own uh, experience, you know, with their tragedy. But, you know, I did see firsthand, you know, how communities, how churches, how nonprofit organizations, how businesses uh, just rallied together. Neighbors came together for the greater good. So I don't like when people say everybody in the world is bad. That's so not true. We have so many great people here. I think that the bad people just overshadow the good people. There's more good people than bad people in the world, you know. And, and unfortunately, during tragedy, that's when it's their time to shine, you know, uh, when you get to really see see what this world is really made of, how many people really truly have a heart, and how many people truly want to give. But we always rise to the occasion here in America. We just do. And so um, with that being said, if you have any knowledge of a local, um, if you have any knowledge of local uh, nonprofits, you know, churches, just let me know, because we want to be able to help those residents in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, in the Atlantic, just keeping you uh, updated what's happening out there. So we have uh, our first hurricane for this season has been named. Her name is Danielle. That's such a pretty name. I always say when they have these pretty names, I remember they had Hurricane Nicole. I'm like, oh, I pray no tragedy happens on my name, right? <laughs> I think they should move off the names and try something else, right? Who wants to have like their name known for a big tragedy? But Hurricane Danielle is the first name as a hurricane for this storm season. Currently, it's just moving 65 miles per hour uh, north-northwest. Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry, east, and it's no threat to land. So it's just way out there, you know? So that's a good thing for us and for any of the local islands. However, there is another disturbance that is going to be east of the Leeward Islands, and it's expected to pick up steam, you guys, in the next 48 hours to five days. So this could be something that uh, could turn, you know, into a hurricane that could come through, you know, the Caribbean as well as potentially, depending on the direction that it's going, uh, affect the United States. All right. So I'll keep you updated on that. And then, of course, like I mentioned earlier, Dallas, Texas flooded last week. There are some people who are still dealing with the tragedies of that. I've seen those videos and these poor people, you know, has so much water. This one lady had water. She just moved into her new apartment too. So I really pray she has had insurance. Um, but even so, if it's flood waters, you know, a lot of flood, a lot of policies don't cover flood. So we'll talk about that too on, uh, That'll be another session that I may have, and maybe next month, because this, this month is pretty booked. But we're going to talk about policies. We're going to take a deep dive into our auto policies, into our home insurance policies, to our life insurance policies. I really want to explain this to you. What I've noticed is that a lot of agents don't explain anything. They just... Uh, tell you what your premium is going to be for the year or for the month, you know, if you're paying monthly, maybe give you a few highlights of what it covers and that's it. They're sending you bills every month. You don't hear from them again. Okay. A lot of people don't truly understand their policy until tragedy strikes, until they have to deal with a claims adjuster. And now they're asking a claims adjuster all this information that they should have asked the sales agent. So 
I am actually going to have some sessions available that will break it down. It may be pretty lengthy too, because you know these uh, policies are pretty lengthy. But we're going to break it down, so there's no question. You know, and that way you can bring your policy to our call. We'll cut. We'll do a general overview, and then of course, because every company is different, so sometimes their verbiage may be different, or maybe they have additional section in there, or maybe you purchased an additional rider that's not in the presentation. We can go over that, so that way you know what you have. And and most times, like out on a adjuster side, it's like an education uh, session that I'm having with the insureds because maybe they didn't have the correct items in place on their policy that they needed in order to help them out in that particular claim. So I always give them that knowledge so that way when renewal time comes, they can uh, make sure that they have the agent at least quote them, you know, to see if they can afford that, if they're fine with that, and if so, place that in the policy. So any event, something else happens in the future, you're covered. Okay, so I just truly appreciate it. This is the first live. So let me see if there's uh, comments here. And uh, just bear with me. <laughs> and if I don't answer it here, that's okay. I will come back and answer it once this live has concluded, okay? Uh, so I'm just kind of learning the whole live thing here on Facebook. Usually I'm going live on like Zoom. You know, I usually have, uh, we have Zoom calls. So this is the first Facebook live. But I'm excited about it because I think this is a great opportunity to inform uh, the entire Facebook community, those especially who are homeowners, those especially people who are parents, uh, who want the best for their financial heirs, those who own cars, you know, those who just want to be prepared. As you can see, there's so much going on. We have to be prepared in every area of our lives. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about food preparation. We're going to talk about, you know, having the adequate emergency supplies. We're going to talk about making sure you have money on you. We're going to talk about all these different things because, you know, it's wise to do that. It's wise to prepare, you know, and you're going to be ahead of the game versus a neighbor or someone who has not prepared. So if you have any questions at all or if you have uh, items that you would like for us to cover on our Coverage Over Coffee sessions, please feel free to contact us. You can actually send it to nicole.ivory at aimutual.com, or you can send a message on Met through Messenger. That's totally fine as well. Please, again, share, like, subscribe on all of our uh, channels that we have on social media. I will also update that into this particular live once this ends. And I'm just really excited. This is the beginning of, of a great thing. Uh, we also will have specialized um, sessions only for our clients, and we call them the High Society, right? H-I, which stands for Happy Insureds. Why did I name it Happy Insureds? Well, just through my um, through my years being in insurance and the financial services, a lot of people are not happy, you know, with their uh, agents. They're just not. So we want, and then also with their experience with their insurance companies, to think the insurance companies are out to get them, take all their money, and I just don't really like that. I feel like. Uh, since being an insurance broker, I've seen so many advantages, and I want to make sure that I give you the knowledge that you need so that way you can take advantage. A lot of people, they don't know, so it's kind of like they, they're only limited to the knowledge that they have. So I feel like knowledge is empowerment, especially when it's applied, and I know uh, that my clients and those that are looking at this live are all about empowerment, and so I know you'll take this information and put it to good use. Well, thanks so much, and I'll see you definitely next Friday, when we talk about all about life insurance, we're going to take a deep dive. Okay, guys, we're going to get, uh, we're going to start from the history again up to today and then even in the future. All right, so I'm excited about it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.